All right, so picking right back up, I noticed that with uh, this Lion King sentence, I uh, I have trees represented safety and represented. I wanted to keep that present tense instead of past tense. The correct answer is, in fact, represent safety in the Lion King. So that was my fault. I clicked um, clicked off of that too fast. So let's do a few more, I guess. Rearrange the sentence. Got it. Do not change the meaning. Thesis statement is based on finding Nemo. Nemo, not Marlin, has the experience of going through the most drastic transformation in the film. Um, so we have some extra words here. Um, let's get rid of has. Nemo, not Marlin, experiences the most dramatic transformation in the film. I think that's pretty straightforward. So let's try that one. Yay, Mr. Kimball, you're awesome. Rearrange, got it. To Kill a Mockingbird, got it. Scout's maturity is overestimated by Atticus when he shares details of the trial with her. Um, let's see what our choices are. Um, so we want to get rid of the passive, so we don't want the is and then the verb. So let's get rid of the is, which means we need to make Atticus the main actor in this sentence, Atticus overestimates Scout's maturity and then get rid of by when he shares details of the trial with her. So um, don't need the past tense, don't need present, um, or do need present, we don't need the progressive form. Okay, so Atticus overestimates Scout's maturity when he shares details of the trial with her. All right, let's try that one. <clears throat> Remember, this is always about reading the sentence very carefully. Um, I know I'm reading the directions every time to make sure I'm not getting something thrown at me that's different. I'm reading where it's coming from, so that way in my mind I kind of know what the context of the sentence is, um, and that way it helps me out a little bit. So. Boys' resilience is increased by the hard work of digging holes. Um, this is, again, we're going to try to rearrange it without the is in there. I want the hard work of digging holes to become the active part. So I'm going to put that at the beginning. The hard work of digging holes um, increases. See if increases is a possibility. Yes. And then take the by out. Um, so you see how just rearranging that sentence makes it an active sentence. Um, it gets rid of the is and the by. We did that in the last two sentences. So that's what you want to pay attention to. The hard work of digging holes increases the boy's resilience. All right, let's try that. Notice I'm trying to do these without um, hitting all of the teacher hands. I know I did early on in the first video, but I'm going to try to do it without it. So maybe I can experience some of the same things you guys. Learning games and web apps cannot fully be a replacement of traditional classroom instruction. I'd agree with that. Okay. So rearrange the sentence. Don't change the meaning. Learning games and web apps cannot fully be a replacement of traditional classroom instruction. Um, this has options here, so replacing, replace. Um, cannot fully, I'm going to take B out, replace, and of. Learning games and web apps cannot fully replace traditional classroom instruction. That's what we want. That sounds a little better. Let's submit that. We're good. Okay. Teachers should literally never give students permission to use internet during school hours. Uh, I don't agree with that one, but okay. Teachers should literally, let's get rid of literally, I don't need the unnecessary words. Teachers should never give students permission to use internet during school. I don't see anything that can be like rearranged or changed in there. There's no other options. So I'm gonna keep that. To reduce and decrease. Uh, Redundant, get rid of that one. To reduce student stress, schools should eliminate grades. Um, okay, I'm okay with that. 
to reduce student stress, schools should eliminate grades. And there's nothing else I can change. Like it doesn't make sense if I put anything else in another place. Um, I could put that at the beginning. Schools should eliminate grades to reduce student stress. Um, let's just see. Let's see if that works. Let's. Well, it does have the comma there that's stuck. Okay, so that's something I would pay attention to. I almost uh, got that one wrong just because that comma stuck. To reduce student stress, schools should eliminate grades. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone now. <clears throat> see, I would have got it wrong if I would have rearranged it and not paid attention to that comma that was there. Rearrange, do not change. Despite the rise of word processors, learning cursive benefits students who are young. Um, we could do the who are young and just put young students. So we'll get rid of who are. Despite the rise of word processors, learning cursive benefits young students. Um, there's nothing else that can be changed, like no words can be moved around like that. So let's see how that does. Good. Got that one right. I believe that you don't ever need. I believe that in a thesis statement, arrange, do not change. Teachers should assign less homework on school nights to allow students more time to sleep. They don't sleep anyway. Teachers should assign less homework on school nights to allow students more sleep. Um, I'm going to keep that because I know that changes the meaning. Without it, teachers should assign less homework to allow students more time to sleep. Um, so I'm going to keep that in there to keep the original meaning of the sentence. You can tell it's getting late at night. My eyes are getting itchy, so I apologize for scratching all around. I feel like a dog right now. Rearrange sentence below to move any wordy sections. Strict dress codes at school. Well, where else? Limit student creativity. I'm eliminating at school because student is already in there. So that at school is already implied. So let's just see how this one does. Why? Strict dress codes limit student creativity. Well, let's let's put it back or not. Let's reset. Strict dress codes. So strict dress codes. Let's try that. Dress codes at school limit student strict school dress code. Oh, they rearranged that thing. Okay. This one, let's compare these. Dress codes at school limit student creativity. Strict school dress codes limit student creativity. Very similar. That's a preference thing. Um, but I get it. I would I would agree with that now that I see it. <clears throat> Rearrange sentence. Do not change. Unhealthy social divisions in school are created by honors and other accelerated classes. So whenever you have are created by, that's going to be the extra stuff. And I see that create is an option. And I'm going to take what's at the back and put it in the front. Honors and other accelerated classes. I'm going to put create after that. Unhealthy social divisions in schools. And that means I can click that. And one thing to pay attention to, I noticed that the word by, um, whenever I move that around, that that period was kind of separated. That's the one thing you want to pay attention to. If the period is actually attached to words like that comma was earlier, you want to pay attention and keep those things together. Honors and other accelerated classes create unhealthy social divisions in schools. All right, let's try that. Good. Thesis statement based on holes. Rearrange, don't change. In holes, the dried up lake is a symbol of the rigid rules at Camp Green Lake. Um, there we go. I have to do this one and then be done with this section again. In holes, a tried up like a symbol of the rigid. See what this symbolizes. Okay, so I'm going to change the rigid holes, rigid rules at Camp Green Lake. Symbolize. I should have symbolize. Uh, rigid rules symbolizes 